Be Wealthy and Smart, episode 1333. Step into a world of wealth and financial freedom without budgets, boredom or bosses on Be Wealthy and Smart. And now, here's your host, Linda P. Jones. Welcome to Be Wealthy and Smart. I'm Linda P. Jones, America's Wealth Mentor, empowering women and men worldwide to financial freedom. On today's show, we're going to talk about how 95% of employees say they want a new job. While the studies say there's not going to be a great resignation this year, people certainly are looking around and looking to find a new job. And the main reason is because they don't feel that they make enough money to cover higher expenses. And who could blame them? Inflation has gone up. It's been a rough couple of years with prices on food and rent and gas going up dramatically. And their salaries just have not kept up with it. So according to a survey from more than 600 U.S. workers across different industries, 95% said they're looking for or plan to look for a new job this year. Now, some workers think that they've jumped too quickly because they might have jumped to the highest salary number without really vetting the culture. And then others have experienced employers who had kind of a bait and switch attitude with their job description. So they said one thing, but then when the worker went to work there, they found out their job was very different. So now they're calling this the great boomerang, where people started returning to their former employers. According to Monster, 68% of workers think it will be difficult to find a new job in 2024 due to the state of the economy, up slightly from 66% last year. And just over a third, or 38%, anticipate the overall job market to improve, while 22% expect it to decline. Also, some workers are unhappy because they've had to fill in for employees who've left the company and were not replaced, so they feel like they're doing double the work, and of course, in many cases, they are. About 45% of workers said they needed a higher income, up 5% from 2023, and 64% expected a higher salary due to inflation and the increased cost of living, up 18% from last year, according to the report. Deloitte's Q4 2023 CFO survey released earlier this month found that domestic wages and salaries were only one of the six metrics reviewed in research where finance chiefs raised their expectations for year-over-year growth. The CFO's survey also mentioned the labor market as a factor that could constrain their ability to achieve financial performance goals. According to Monster career expert Vicki Salemi, It's in the best interest of employers to be clear and transparent to hopefully keep their workers happily engaged and working, but also make sure they're paid equitably. If salary increases during this time aren't feasible, employers should think of other ways to compensate employees, such as being more flexible with policies, such as return to office mandates. Yes, I think working from home is very important to people, and they don't like these return to office mandates. At least I'm hearing that from a lot of people. So it's not always about salary. Sometimes it's about the workload. Sometimes it's about opportunity for promotion and how much the company is investing in them for educational purposes so they can grow and expand their career but also the flexibility of being able to work from home, save time and save money on gas, as well as the stress of driving in traffic during rush hour is a big plus. So employers that can leave their employees at home probably could get away without too much of a pay increase and employees would be much happier without having to commute. If you haven't yet subscribed to Be Wealthy and Smart, hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified as soon as new podcasts are available. And all of my podcasts are on my website at lindapjones.com forward slash podcasts. And while you're there, sign up for my weekly newsletter for more wealth tips for your financial freedom. That's all for today. Until next time, live the good life and be wealthy and smart. Thank you for listening to Be Wealthy and Smart with Linda P. Jones. Share the wealth and tell your family and friends about the show. Check out our website, blog, and social media for more riches at www.bewealthyandsmart.com.